All right, that was another man. This is uh, Midwest Music Meltdown. We're sitting here with Brad Hoshaw and the Seven Deadlies. Uh, thank you guys again for coming. Yeah, thank you. Very professional. Definitely appreciate that. <laughs> like Helps that. things out. We did make you. We did make them wait a little bit, but it, uh, it's kind of ruckus around here. Uh, what uh, talk about the uh, the 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 summer and uh, kind of what the plans are going into to this winter. Yeah, I think um, probably the next thing on our on our schedule is to get back in the studio, work on the next album, and uh, and uh, kind of get the new songs down and out. I know people uh, have enjoyed the last record, but they're ready for something new, so we're uh, going to try and deliver that. And then uh, I'm going on a little solo tour uh, around the Midwest, and uh, so that's those are our main focuses right now. And when you know, when is that going on? Talk about where you're going. Yeah, the, the solo tour is going to be in late October through uh, mid-November. Basically hitting um, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and then heading south through uh, Missouri and Oklahoma, Texas, then over to New Mexico and Colorado. So just kind of a, a figure eight kind of pattern around the Midwest. Very fun. Yeah. And are you guys on the internet? websites or anything or is it just myspace facebook kind of a thing yeah we've got a, a website it's brad and uh and then you can go to all of our other we're we're in a lot of places uh facebook myspace reverb nation everything so. okay yeah and obviously the tour will be up there and yeah hopefully once can... they're once all the dates are confirmed i'll post it and, and send it out to the mailing list let everybody know where where i'm going and when to expect me do you do that personally, or do you have someone? Um, I do uh, most of it personally, and then I brought on somebody in the last year that's helping me with some booking and, and promotion. So um, she takes on a lot of that responsibility. But as far as the, the newsletters and the the day-to-day -day activities, I'm, I'm going to be doing it myself. Awesome. Yeah. What uh, What's the rest of the band going to do during that month? Any plans? Imagine Take you guys got you got tons of other gigs going on, huh? Yeah, we're all we all play in other bands too, so I mean, we'll be we'll be gigging elsewhere, and uh, when Brad gets back, we'll probably put some some more band shows together. So. I was going to talk about the Benson scene. You mentioned starting kind of out there at the <laughs> open mics and stuff. Obviously, you know Benson's a great time, and and uh, you know now we got the Saddle Creek. Uh, going on in the in the mm -hmm. downtown area yeah obviously there's just tons of music around town um, you know talk about the Omaha scene and, and uh, your yeah experience it's, kind it's of. really encouraging I'm, I've actually been performing out um, for almost 15 years in Omaha and first started playing the ranch bowl when I was 16 and um, I think everybody did. Yeah, I think everybody did. Well, they put like seven or eight bands <laughs> on the bill <laughs> per night. <laughs> but Benson and and even outside of Benson, there's just a lot of creativity. I noticed a change in the city in general that it's not just musicians going out to see other musicians anymore. There's actually interest from the general public to see live and original music. So that's been really encouraging. And really the main purpose of the show here, you know, is to get all that music out to the people who just don't have time mm -hmm. you know there's there's so many people who just don't have time uh you know due to time constraints and, and uh, family stuff events, really. yeah pretty much you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Who'd want to reckless? Now who'd want to 